Yes. Uh, uh, this is a Newton backward interpolation formula. Uh, we have seen the derivation over Newton's uh, forward interpolation formula. Uh, the derivation is uh, similar to that of uh, uh, forward uh, for uh, concerning concerning the uh, current uh, uh, Newton's backward interpolation. And uh, 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 the difference over the forward and backward is uh, we have positive uh, uh, sign over uh, the entire uh, formula. That is the difference. And uh, uh, it is usually uh, called as Grigori Newton's backward interpolation. And uh, there are two points we need to remember uh, during the application, and uh, that I will discuss a little later. Uh, when the when uh, when there is a uh, need to find the uh, in, uh, unknown uh, with, uh, with respect to the uh, data uh, at the end, at that time we need to, we need to depend uh, uh, Newton's backward interpolation. Uh, that we will see uh, during the uh, solution. And uh, uh, please make a note. This is your uh, example uh, ten. And uh, given uh, there are two two different uh, uh, some set of data is given, uh, and uh, we need to find uh, the f of seven point five using Newton's formula. Uh, 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 usually uh, in universities or uh, in cities, usually. Uh, they won't uh, suggest uh, any uh, forward interpolation or backward interpolation. We need to identify the appropriate uh, technique. Uh, here, uh, see the data. Uh, the the x value starts from one and uh, the given till the uh, eight. And uh, the uh, the enquired uh, f f of value is very near to the end. Therefore, uh, we need to apply Newton's backward inter interpolation formula when it is nearer to the uh, beginning. And then, uh, then we need to apply a Newton's forward interpolation. And uh, see, uh, this is the difference over the given data. And uh, uh, this is uh, we need to call this symbol as del, as as uh, in uh, Newton's forward interpolation. That is uh, delta here, del. The reverse uh, symbol over the delta usually called as del. Therefore, delta f f of x here eight minus one is seven. 19 and 127 and 169 and uh, second difference of f of, uh, second difference of f of x and uh, 12 uh, 18 24 30 36 and 42 similarly the third difference all we are getting six and uh, the fourth difference over the f of x is zeros uh, when we have data still uh, um, uh, we, uh, we have eight different uh, eight eight set of data we need to uh, do the difference till the eighth difference. Since we are getting uh, zero in uh, um, fourth difference itself, there is no need to pro proceed till uh, the eighth difference. What we'll get, we'll get uh, the rest is also zero. That is, the, there is no need to uh, um, yeah, calculate the fifth uh, to uh, fifth till uh, eighth difference over the f of x. And uh, here, f of uh, x, x not is equal to eight, and y not is equal to Phi one two, as I discussed uh, earlier, uh, see the this is this is uh, we need to uh, apply the uh, end point that is the eight and uh, phi one two as the x naught and y naught uh, uh, since we are uh, we are going to calculate the value of f of seven point five that is very near to eight and therefore uh, our first difference is one sixty nine and second difference is forty two and third difference is six and the fourth difference is zero. And uh, therefore, uh, the difference in the uh, x uh, data is h, uh, h, and that that is equal to one, and our uh, unknown is 1.5, and uh, we need to apply the backward interpolation formula, or uh, way of x naught plus n in, uh, n into h is equal to y naught plus n into del y, del y naught plus n into n plus one by two factorial into del second difference of y naught plus n so on, and see we we are going to find the value of we have 7.5 and we, we need to correlate the x naught plus n into h is equal to uh, 7.5 and we have the data the x naught and h while applying uh, those data we will get n is equal to minus 0.5 and uh, see uh, we have 7.5 is equal to 512 plus uh, minus, minus 0.5 into 169 and this data on 16 is uh, derived uh, obtained from the table and minus 0.5 uh, 
into minus 0.5 plus 1 divided by 2 factorial into 42. This is also uh, assigned from the table. And uh, minus 0.5 minus 0.5 plus 1 into minus 0.5 plus 2 divided by 3 factorial into 6 plus and some coefficient into 0 plus and so on. The rest uh, becomes 0. Therefore, uh, we can uh, uh, restrict with uh, the third uh, factorial itself and uh, do the simple calculation and tell me the results. And or, or uh, um, uh, I'll go ahead with the solutions. You uh, once uh, uh, with a video, you please cross check the data. And uh, see here, 512 minus 84.5 minus 5.25 minus 0.375 plus 0 and so on 0. And therefore, we'll get 421.875. Therefore, our uh, way of 1.5 is equal to 421.875. This is example 11. The po population of a town uh, 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 in the census uh, is as <coughs> given the data, estimate the population in the year 1996 using Newton's backward interpolation formula. Here, 1996 is given. And the population, we, are, we need to get the population alone. Uh, in some case, some other data may also uh, asked by the examiners. Uh, we, we need to avoid what is the question asked in the uh, city or uh, uh, answer. Here, uh, the uh, year has to be taken as X and population in thousands, thousands uh, taken has to be Y. And 1961 has 46,000 population, and 1971 has 66,000 uh, population. 1981, 81,000. 1991, 92,000. And during 2001, uh, 101,000. And uh, um, as you, uh, this is the data uh, given for a particular town. Usually, uh, the census census taken uh, uh, for an, uh, for a decade. Uh, for a period of decade, uh, uh, th this is the uh, uh, that is uh, during 1961, 71, 81. Uh, in that way, the uh, the uh, uh, government, uh, central government, do uh, did his um, census uh, census uh, data, and uh, uh, do, uh, in near future, that is uh, uh, 2021, uh, the uh, the census will be taken, and. Uh, Concerning uh, the difference over the data as here, del y 2015, 78, and uh, second difference is minus 5, minus 3, minus 4, and the third difference is 2, minus 1, and the fourth difference is minus 3. Here, the x naught, y x naught is equal to 2001, 1, y naught is equal to 1 naught 1, and uh, the first difference is 8, second difference is minus 4, third difference is minus 1, fourth difference is minus 3. Here, x naught is equal to as I have detailed, h is equal to 10 and our x is equal to 1996. Therefore, uh, x naught plus n into h is equal to 1996. And I am applying the value of x naught and uh, uh, h, uh, will, uh, then we, uh, we can calculate our n value, n is equal to uh, minus 0 0.5. By applying the n value in the backward interpolation formula, uh, not 1 plus minus 0 0.5 into 8 minus 0.5 into minus 0.5 plus 1 divided by 2 factorial into minus 4. This minus 4 and minus 1 minus 3 obtained from the table and uh, minus 0.5 minus 0.5 plus 1 minus 0.5 plus 2 divided by 3 factorial. Similarly, we have some coefficient with the minus and uh, not 1 minus 4 plus 0.5 plus 0 0.065 plus 0 0.0172 and uh, the results of this particular problem is 97 point 6797. Therefore, the population in the year 1996 is 97.679,000. Any, any, any doubts? Any doubts uh, so far? Uh, do you have any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. And uh, uh, this is the example 12. 
apply uh, Newton's backward formula to find a polynomial of uh, degree 3, which includes the following x and y pairs. There are four set of data given, and uh, and we need to, we are we are going to find the relation over the given data, and uh, by uh, by the application of Newton's backward formula, and uh, see uh, what we need to do. We need to get the difference table. And that is that is first in uh, either Newton's forward interpolation or it, it may be in Newton's backward interpolation. You see, uh, the first difference is 18, 36, 60, and the second difference is 18, 24. The third difference is 6. And uh, I, uh, we, we, we need to build the mathematical relation with the uh, degree 3. And that we can do with uh, unknown, let it be unknown. Here, x naught. Uh, is 6 and y naught is equal to 120 and x is equal to 10. And uh, you can do a trial uh, here x naught is taken as, uh, taken at the end. Why not uh, uh, the respective y naught is taken. And uh, you can try with the Newton's forward interpolation uh, by taking x naught is equal to 3 and y naught is equal to 6. Here h is equal to 3 h uh, the difference in the x is 1. Is equal to 1. The Newton backward interpolation formula and uh, the way of x, we, we need to calculate the way of x. And uh, x naught plus n touch is equal to x. x let it be x. And therefore, 6 plus n into 1 is equal to x. Therefore, n is equal to x minus 6. This is what we are going to apply with Newton's backward formula. Therefore, f x is equal to 120 plus x minus 30 n into del uh, the first difference and x minus 6 into 60 x minus 6 into x minus 6 plus 1 that becomes x minus 5 divided by 2 factor l into 24 similarly x minus 6 uh, into x minus 6 plus 1 that becomes x minus 5 into x minus 6 plus 2 becomes x minus 4 divided by 3 factor n into uh, by doing the simple calculation, we will get 120 plus 16 to x minus 6 plus 12. Uh, 24 divided by 2 becomes 12. And x minus 6 into x minus 5. Uh, let it be x minus 6 into x minus 5. And uh, here, uh, 6 divided by 3 factorial. And uh, here, um, yes, uh, we'll, uh, we have the 3 factorial. <coughs> here, x minus 6 uh, into x minus 5 into x minus 4 divided by what about 60 24 6 60 24 6 okay. there is a problem here they, here keep your three factorial or uh, that that can be uh, neglected and this six and uh, three factorial one into two three therefore you you won't get any coefficient here uh, here i have uh, written six uh, wrongly uh, please uh, be aware uh, here, uh, there is no co coefficient is associated with the, the third term. 20, I am taking x minus 6 out from uh, the three different uh, uh, data sets. Here, we ha I have x minus 6. Here, also x minus 6. Here, also x minus 6. Therefore, take the x minus 6 out. And 60 plus 12 into x minus 5 plus x minus 5 into x minus uh, 4. Here we have uh, uh, the common term x minus 5. Uh, therefore, I am taking out 60 plus x minus 5 into 12 plus x minus 4. And uh, 120 plus x minus 6 into 60 plus uh, x minus 5 into here. I will get uh, x plus 8. Uh, by mul multiplying these two equations, I will get x square plus uh, 8x minus 5x minus 40. And uh, that becomes x square plus 3x plus 20. Uh, by multiplying with x minus 6 and addition over the 120 gives x cube minus 3x square plus 2x and we are getting uh, the relation with the degree 3 that that we cannot we cannot uh, uh, we are we are uh, we are possibly didn't did any anything to get uh, the third degree it, it, it is uh, it, it is uh, uh, on the fly we are getting the uh, degree as 3. Therefore, no, no need to worry about the uh, uh, sentence which was given in the problem. We go ahead with the problems. 
will get the answers uh, which was given in the problem uh, in the question itself and uh, if someone uh, in some other problem they will enquire about the first and seventh term here see the data here uh, the data given from 3 to 6 and they uh, someone interested to find uh, or predict uh, the uh, do the extrapolation and uh, here uh, we can uh, do the calculation with we can find uh, f uh, for uh, x is equal to 1 what will be the y for x is equal to 2 what will be the y and similarly x is equal to 7 what will be the y you see similarly we can do the extrapolation with the aid of uh, even we can do interpolation also and uh, if someone interested to calculate the such data means we can apply with that of uh, the, uh, the third degree of polynomial and we can get the results and uh, see by applying 1 and we will get 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square is 2 into 1 that becomes 0 and similarly uh, for y of 2 y of 2 also we are getting 0 for y of 7 that becomes 210 and similarly we can find we can do our interested uh, interpolation or uh, extrapolation and uh, any doubts do you have any doubts If you don't have any doubts, uh, then no, we will continue. Yes. Very good. This is uh, for your practice, uh, exercise number 13. From the given table, the value of y are constitutive terms of the series of which 23.6 is the sixth term. Here, see, this is the sixth term. Find the first and tenth term of the series. Here, uh, in order to make you uh, uh, confusion over the given data, the sixth term uh, uh, is given in the text in the running uh, commentary, and that 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 is not essential. What they are inquiring, uh, we need to find the first and tenth term. Uh, as we are we are uh, uh, calculated uh, in the past problem, uh, we, with, the, with, the, with the same procedure, we need to find, we need to get the polynomial equation, then we need to apply. Uh, 1 and uh, uh, 10 over the polynomial in order to get the respective y value. And uh, this is uh, for uh, uh, cross checking the results. This is for your practice. And uh, you will get <coughs> the uh, polynomial as 0.083x cube plus uh, 0.254x square minus 1.249x plus 4.02. Uh, you will get uh, when x is equal to 1, your y becomes 3.108. When uh, your x is equal to 10, you will get now y is equal to 99.93 and uh, we'll see the numerical differentiation and uh, once the numerical differentiation is over uh, we'll, uh, we'll worry about the numerical uh, integration and that is our last portion numerical differentiation and uh, as we uh, we are uh, worried about uh, the uh, interpolation and extrapolation when we, when there is a concern over derivatives Derivatives. At that time also, we need to define the, the Newton's uh, Newton's forward interpolation and Newton's backward interpolation. See what will uh, what what all the things we are presented in the uh, uh, presentation. See here the Newton's uh, formula. Instead of instead of uh, n, uh, for my convenience, I am uh, replacing the n with uh, r. <coughs> Therefore, uh, f of x naught plus r h. Instead of the n, um, for my convenience, I am uh, replacing the n with r. And this is uh, the uh, forward interpolation with R. And uh, see, and uh, here e, e, n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial, uh, uh, that is R into R minus 1. Here R into R minus 1 into R minus 2. R, R, in, R into R minus 1 becomes R square minus 1. Here R into R minus 2, I am, I am going to expand uh, the coefficient. R into R minus 1 into R minus 2. That becomes uh, the the first two terms becomes R square minus R, and uh, with the uh, the multiplication over the uh, subsequent term that is R minus two, I'll get R cube minus two R square minus R square plus two R. That becomes R cube minus three R square plus two R. Similarly, similarly for the uh, fourth term, R into R minus one R into R minus two into R minus three. Uh, the, I, I am having the uh, data for this uh, three terms. I am applying over here and r cube minus 3 r square plus 2 r 
into our main entity. Therefore, by doing the multiplication over the data, so you will get R four four minus six R cube plus eleven R square minus six R. I am applying uh, those calculated coefficients here, and f of x not plus r x is equal to y not plus r into del y not plus r square minus r divided by two factor into uh, second difference of y not plus r cube minus three r square plus two r divided by three factor into third difference of y not plus r four four minus six r cube plus eleven r square and six r divided by four factor into fourth difference. See here, this is. The power interpolation uh, formula for, for in order to find the derivatives, and uh, similarly for the backward interpolation, we does, doesn't have any negative symbol, all are positive. And uh, I'm differentiating. That is the derivative, the first derivative of the uh, above uh, uh, power interpolation formula. Here, I'm uh, we, we need to differentiate with respect to r, and uh, here. The term R is associated with the H, therefore I am having H uh, as in coefficient H into F dash F dash into X not plus R into H is equal to here uh, here Y not becomes zero R into uh, del Y R becomes one therefore uh, we will get del uh, delta Y not plus two R minus one by divided by two uh, second difference of Y not plus here R R cube becomes three R square. Here three r square becomes six r. Here two r becomes two. That by uh, three r three factor becomes the third difference of y. Similarly for the fourth term, the r four four becomes four r cube minus six r cube becomes eighteen r square. The eleven r square becomes twenty two r minus six r becomes minus six. That by four factor becomes twenty four. The fourth difference of y. Yes. <coughs> here, uh, uh, here. The, the there is no change over the first three terms. Concerning the fourth term, uh, uh, we can uh, we, we we are having the uh, two in the new common uh, number as two in the numerator. Therefore, by dividing the two with twenty four, we will get two r cube minus nine r square plus eleven r minus three divided by twelve into fourth difference of four. Here, um, uh, this is the uh, formula required formula not to get the first derivative. And uh, this is the second derivative. H square into f double dash of x not by, uh, plus uh, r h is equal to here c two uh, r minus one divided by two three r square minus six r plus two two r cube minus nine r square plus eleven r minus three. Therefore, two into r becomes one divided by two uh, into second difference of y not six r minus six divided by six into third difference of y not. Similarly, six r square minus eighteen uh, r. Into fourth difference, and uh, by uh, doing the uh, simple calculation, we will get the second difference of y not plus uh, r minus one to third difference of y not plus six r square minus eight r eighteen r plus nine divided by twelve into fourth difference of y not, and this is the third uh, derivative uh, h h h cube into f triple dash of x not plus r into x is equal to third difference of uh, here. See, uh, this term becomes zero. Here we will get uh, r minus one to third difference of y not. Uh, therefore, r minus one becomes r uh, one, and therefore uh, third difference of y not plus here six uh, r square becomes twelve r, and eighteen r becomes minus eighteen divided by twelve. Then becomes zero. Therefore, we we'll get the fourth difference of y not, and uh, and this is the uh, the first uh, the second term becomes two r minus three divided by two into fourth difference of y not, and uh, see. Here, if we want to find the deriv uh, derivatives at the point of x naught, then uh, what we'll apply? Usually, we'll apply uh, we'll correlate with x naught plus r into h. Therefore, r becomes zero, isn't it? When x naught plus r h is equal to x naught, what uh, uh, interval must be? We will have an uh, interval uh, in the given data. Uh, if uh, uh, without interval, we cannot find the data. Therefore, r becomes zero, isn't it? And uh, if r is equal to zero. This is the coefficient of the first derivative. I am applying the R is equal to zero in the coefficient of the first derivative. I'll get minus one by two here one by three here minus one by two. And for the second derivative, this is for the second derivative. The first term becomes minus one. The second term becomes eleven by two. And uh, the third derivative becomes uh, 
the second term of the third derivative minus 3 by 2 therefore i am applying this data will get f dash of uh, here h i am uh, i am uh, shifting the h to the rhs and therefore your uh, f dash of x not becomes 1 by h of uh, delta y not minus 1 by 2 into second difference of y not plus 1 by 3 into third difference y not minus 1 by 4 into fourth difference y not this coefficient we are obtaining when r is equal to 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 4 see here see here this is the coefficients and uh, similarly f w h of x not becomes 1 by h square into second difference of y not minus third difference of y not plus uh, 11 by 2 into fourth difference of y not and uh, third derivative if uh, triple, triple dash of x not is equal to 1 by h cube into third difference of y not minus 3 by 2 into fourth difference of y not and so on and similarly for the backward interpolation formula as the symbol difference over the symbols and uh, we doesn't have any negative symbol and the same, formula is same and the coefficients the rest are same instead of delta we are applying uh, del and instead of all negative values we need to we need to consider about the positive and uh, do you have any doubts with the derivation do you have any doubts Are you clear with no, the derivations? Yes. Okay. Then uh, we'll go ahead with problem number four and um, uh, find the first, second, and third derivatives of the function tabulated below uh, at the point x is equal to point. Sorry, one point five and the x and uh, f of x one point five three three point three seven five. Two uh, similarly, we have data uh, with the interval of 0.5 till 4. Uh, having the data, and we need to find the derivatives. See here, that we are concerned about the derivative that is f dash, f da uh, double dash, and tri f triple dash. Uh, someone has uh, may have the doubt uh, with the past uh, data and the present data. Here we are concerned about the derivatives. When you have, when we need to find the derivatives, we need to apply this formula. Else, we are interpolation. We need to, uh, we need to find the intermediate or uh, the extrapolation. Then we need to worry about the conventional uh, Newton's forward or backward interpolation formula. Uh, this is the difference. This is the difference table. And uh, this is the first difference, second difference, third difference, and fourth difference. And uh, uh, during the fourth difference, that data becomes zero zero. Therefore, there is no need to carry the uh, difference with the fifth uh, difference. And see here, and we are going to find the derivatives uh, which is equal to x is equal to 1.5. Therefore, I am taking um, I am concerning the uh, top data that is 1.5 as x not and 3.3 and 5 as uh, y not. Therefore, I am going to take this data as The difference. This 1.5 is nearer to the initial value. Therefore, Newton's forward interpolation formula is confirmed. And here, x naught and h h is equal to 0.5, and f dash of x naught 1 by h into uh, delta y naught minus 1 by 2 into second difference y naught. The third is plus 1 by 3 into third difference y naught. And I am I am applying the respective value. Uh, h is equal to 0.5. First difference is 3.65, and the second difference is 3. The third difference is 0.75. Therefore, uh, the first derivative of 1.5 is equal to 4.7. Similarly, the second difference. I am applying the uh, respective values, and I am getting minus second uh, derivative and the third derivative. Uh, apply the respective values, and we get uh, f triple dash of x not is equal to six. Uh, this is for your practice. This is for your practice. Problem exercise number fifteen, uh, and uh, from the following table, 
find the value of d square by d square at the point x is equal to 0.96 and uh, the diff uh, the answer for this particular problem is minus 1.91 this is for your practice and uh, see uh, uh, sir could you like, move back to the previous question once again yes the practice question yes Any any clarification the, in the in the given problem? Sorry. I couldn't note the question, so that's why. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Done. Thank you. Yes. The po population of a uh, certain town uh, uh, is. Shown in the following table uh, for 1931, uh, we have 40.6 uh, thousand. For uh, 1941, <coughs> we have 60.8 thousand. Uh, 51, uh, 79.9 thousand for uh, 61, 103.6 thousand. And for 1971, uh, that is 132.7 thousand. Find the rate of growth of the population in the year 1961. Here. 1961 data is given we need to find the rate of the rate of growth when when there is an inquiry with the rate of growth at that time we don't have any other option we need to depend with the derivatives that is why we are concerned about derivatives that is why we are uh, learned about the derivative the rate uh, uh, can uh, can anyone remind uh, uh, the uh, displacement as we have already uh, discussed with uh, even with an uh, example uh, that to with a um, uh, beer exam and uh, see uh, displacement velocity acceleration uh, uh, what is displacement what is velocity and what is acceleration and please give some uh, uh, definitions then we'll see this particular problem the rate of change of displacement becomes our speed keeping rate of change of displacement velocity sir velocity similarly the rate of change of velocity becomes acceleration uh, yes that is the first and second derivative so, therefore we need to we need to find uh, we need to aware about the derivatives and see the difference here 20.2, 19.9, 23.7, and 29.1. And the second difference is minus 1.1, 4.6, 5.4. The third difference is 5.7 minus uh, this one, plus 0.8. And the fourth difference is minus 4.9. And here the data is nearer to the end, therefore, we need to apply the backward interpolation formula. That too with the derivative. And see here x naught y not h x and we need to consider about the first first derivative that is y dash of x the backward interpretation formula for the first difference all are positive and the symbol uh, instead of delta we are uh, using delta uh, our r becomes mm, minus 1 uh, x naught is equal to 1971 plus r into 10 into 1961 Therefore, r 10 into r becomes minus 10. Therefore, r is equal to 1 minus 1. And I am applying uh, uh, 2r plus 1 is equal to minus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 1. 3r square uh, plus 6r plus 2 is equal to uh, 3 minus 6 plus 2 minus is equal to minus 1. 2r cube minus plus 9r square plus 11r. Plus three, and that becomes minus one. Here, I am applying uh, the above data uh, in the uh, in y dash of uh, x. Therefore, and I am having the first difference is twenty nine point one, and I am having uh, the the first coefficient as minus 1 by 2 into 5.4 the second coefficient is also becomes minus 1 by 6 into 0.8 the third difference is uh, minus 
one zero eight fell into four point nine, and therefore by doing the simple calculation, uh, we get two point six six seven five. That is, uh, you see, the rate of growth of the population in the year. Rate of growth of the population in the year nineteen sixty one is two point six six seven. Here, see uh, where we have two two r plus one, three r square plus six r plus two, and two r cube plus nine r here, and he, we have data. See the formula. Yes, here, here, find the coefficients. These are the coefficients. Two r minus one. And this is what I have. This is what uh, I have applied here. And uh, this is for your practice. Uh, exercise number seventeen. Your rod is uh, rotating in a plane. The following table. Use the angle in radians uh, through which uh, the rod has turned for various values of uh, time, t seconds. Then uh, point two seconds that uh, the radian, the change in the radian is point one two. Then it is point four, point four nine. Then it is point six uh, that becomes one point one two. Then it is then point eight that becomes two point zero two. Then it is uh, one second. And that uh, the change over the inclination is 3.20, and calculate the angular velocity and the angular acceleration. And the first de first derivative and second derivative is then paired in the problem. And uh, when t is equal to 0.6, here t see the t is equal to 0.6 is uh, very nearer to the end. Therefore, apply the backward interpolation formula, and your answer. By solving the above problem, you will get 3.966 radian per second angular velocity and 4.5 radian per second square angular acceleration. And uh, this is uh, numerical integration. And uh, see the trapezoidal rule. rule. And uh, I think uh, today we'll uh, conclude our syllabus. Uh, it is feasible to stay with a uh, few more minutes uh, representatives. Uh, i think five within uh, five minutes we can complete with the 10 10 10 25 will uh, complete the entire syllabus this is the okay, yeah. yeah fine sir no problem yes yes see here uh, there are there are plenty of uh, uh, other uh, problems is also uh, available with the numerical differentiation as well as in numerical integration concerning uh, the uh, Uh, textbook uh, which we are following that is an uh, that is a, a separate uh, unit for numerical differentiation and integration similarly for interpolation we have separate unit but uh, concerning our syllabus we are restricted with the uh, numerical forward interpolation with the uh, interpolation and numerical uh, differentiation and integration also we are restricted with the, uh, the newton's interpolation and the trapezoidal rule with the numerical integration then the uh, when when you have time you can uh, you can go through uh, the other syllabus but we will co confine with this uh, the, these things which we have presented here the trapezoid numerical integration uh, will uh, will visit the trapezoidal rule this is the trapezoidal rule that is the integration uh, of y of x uh, when the lower limit is x not and the upper limit is x not plus n h uh, is equal to 1 by 2 into y not plus y n plus 2 into Y n plus y two, y one plus y two plus and so on until y n, y n minus one. See, this is the uh, trapezoidal rule. And uh, see, exercise number eighteen. Uh, compute the value of uh, the definite integral, uh, integral over four uh, to five point five log dc x into dx using trapezoidal. So, we are we are already aware when it is base e that is log becomes ln, ln x. And uh, uh, here. Uh, they, the, there is no set of data given, but we need to find the, these with the set of data 
therefore we need to apply the uh, uh, we need to get some uh, we need to have some data therefore here see 5.4 now to find the interval 5.4 the upper boundary minus lower boundary red way i am i am uh, trying to uh, divide the uh, given interval six different parts therefore i am keeping uh, the uh, uh, denominator six therefore i am uh, getting 0.2 as the as an interval now to find the interval now to find the interval uh keep this as in formula that is the upper limit minus lower limit divided by uh, the uh, n n might be the number of uh, uh, equal parts which, which we are willing to do and therefore we will get 1.2 divided by 6 is equal to 0.2 and see uh, uh, when your 4 is the when your when our x is equal to 4 that ln x becomes 1.3864 similarly till 5.2 that we, we need to get with the calculator this data we need to derive with the calculator and uh, by applying the uh, trapezoidal rule and here i have six different data therefore why not as y uh, y 6 here see uh, don't consider the term y why not and y n that is y 6 therefore rest of the terms has to be considered the, as in second term therefore 2 into y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and uh, see by applying the uh, various values that is h that is uh, instead of h i am applying 0.2 by 2 and why not here this is why not y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 i am applying the respective values therefore i am getting the result as 1.8286 and see this is uh, problem 19 and um, uh, integral over 0 to 1 e power minus x square here uh, the limit is 0 to 1 therefore uh, here i am uh, willing to do with uh, four uh, equal parts therefore this is our convenient interval is our con convenient mm, uh, 1 minus 4 divided by 4 that becomes 0.25 and see uh, by applying uh, various value with e power minus x square you will get uh, till y4 you will get y0 y1 y2 y4 and y5 as one and so on and uh, y not plus y4 becomes the first term and the rest y1 y2 y3 becomes the second term and i am applying uh, the various data data will get this is the uh, this is the uh, solution uh, for integral over 0 to 1 e power minus x plus d is equal to points on put and uh, this is for your practice see here e Uh, evaluate integral over zero to one dx by one plus x square using the trapezoid rule with h is equal to point two. Hence, determine the value of y. Here, why why the why the uh, problem concerned about uh, the determination of y? Can anyone anyone uh, uh, explain? Here you can you can already you are already aware about the formula that is integral integral over sorry integral of d dx by one plus x square. What what was the formula? What was the formula for integral dx by one by so dx by one plus x square? Can anyone? Can anyone please? tan inverse of tan you will get tan inverse of x that tan inverse of x uh, the uh, by applying the limits of lower limit that is 0 to 1 you will get pi by 4 pi by 4 therefore they are concerned about uh, pi and uh, that's all about our syllabus this is the answer for this particular problem that is 0.78374 and your point of uh, pi value based on uh, the present calculation you'll get 3.13496 and uh, that's all about our syllabus and do you have any doubts
and our entire syllabus is uh, no, over do you have any doubts uh, sir the pre- yes please so the presentation which we did like every student will the content of the presentation be uh, the syllabus for our nsm like will that be included i didn't get you so didn't like get you. The, the content of the presentation or the slides will that be included in our syllabus for nsm which you have presented or uh, you are inquired about my presentation no sir uh, the ones which we did students yes yes that 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 too we have so we'll expect only theory questions from them or sir numericals also theory from uh, unit 1 theory from unit 1 oh thank you sir that you didn't uh, uh, mail uh, you mail uh, each representative i request you to mail uh, the ppt i will convert into pdf and i will upload in the into the our drives and uh, you uh, send it to my uh, mail id that is rajulu at uh, natt.edu r a j u l u at natt.edu i will uh, post it in our group please send the ppt to my mail id yes sir yes sir. yes uh, if you don't have any doubts then we'll wind up our uh, entire class uh, when when uh, there is a doubts uh, with the the particular problem uh, you post it with the group uh, then we'll meet uh, when it is uh, there is a need uh, we'll meet yeah, do you wish to share anything today i'll upload uh, the uh, second portion of uh, unit 3 uh, in the uh, ms team and uh, i have enquired even uh, the portal for examination portal uh, with you rahul and uh, many of you uh, uh, suggested uh, to keep the examinations in uh, ms team but uh, uh, with uh, with uh, senior faculties uh, cons- uh, um, uh, concern uh, it is uh, not uh, uh, flexible ms team is not flexible we won't take any risk over the ms team uh, we are already about uh, aware about uh, the um, cbt therefore uh, it is preferable to conduct the examination with the cbt and uh, some uh, anyone anyone please uh, give the feedback of uh, the present uh, uh, course that is numerical methods give the feedback uh, over the class one two uh, for uh, mathematical uh, subject uh, the chalk and talk uh, be the uh, prominent method uh, still uh, uh, we, we, i have tried a lot uh, to make you attentive and uh, i hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, the numerical Uh, another session and uh, if you don't have anything to share uh, then we'll wind up our session thank you thank you anand thank, thank you sir thank you sir